All right, Russ, this this podcast hits different. What, what do you think? Is this, are you getting fired up about open tribes or not? <laughs> well, that's such a, a, a hard opening question, though, Stallion. <laughs> I think sometimes I ask our guests the hardest question because I'm literally making it up as I start to talk. And I don't ever know where it's going to end. I feel like that's what you just did to me. You're welcome. You're welcome. Today's guest, Travis Smith with TribeVest, if you've come to our Inner Circle Live or you heard him on a, on a previous podcast where we talked about how to compress time while investing with others, you know that he's built a platform that's made it so stinking simple to go get a handful of friends and to start investing in deals as one instead of trying to segment our money and be be harder or more difficult to invest in things because we don't have enough capital. Meaning like if we wanted to invest a hundred thousand into a deal, but we only had 10 grand, we can't do it. But if we went and got nine friends who put in 10 grand, now we have a hundred grand, we can invest in it. We can make the deal happen. That's right. I love that about Trivest. Today, he though tells us how to level up. He shows us this new idea, this thing that you said, what do you think about open tribes, which <laughs> is a new concept, something that he's going to explore with us. And I think throughout this podcast, what we learned is that we need to keep learning, right? There's a there's this mentality we have as investors that we think of the world in just one finite way. But what Travis has done through technology is taking an idea that's very simple or and, and commonly used in crowdfunding like Uber and Airbnb and some of these other uh, multi-use platforms and technologies. And he's doing that with investing. What did you take away? Well, here's the way I think about it. If you're a new investor, you're going to have your mind expanded. Just like people at our live event walked away from Travis's talk and they're like, holy cow, I did not know that this existed. You're going to get blown away. So tune in. If you're a level above that, you've been invested, you've had some success, uh, maybe working with some different syndicators and operators that you really love and, and enjoy working with, and they've had some great uh, great returns on your money. Now you have the opportunity to level up through this open tribes concept. And I'm not going to give all the details away, but you can now take this and create a whole nother level of your investing career. And I, I'm just excited. I, I say we don't hold any more back from Travis. He does a great job breaking this all down. He even actually shows you and I how we're going to get our first tribe set up. So let's not take any more away from Travis Smith with Travis. Welcome to the Wealth Without Wall Street podcast, your guide to understanding how to get out of the Wall Street rat race and start your own mailbox money lifestyle. Now, don't let these handsome Southern draws fool you. These financial minds are teaching our country to enhance savings, increase cash flow, and create passive income, all without the help of Wall Street. Are you ready to break through? Now, here are your hosts, Russ Morgan and Joey Murray. All right, Tribe, you're in for another treat. We get to have Travis Smith, the founder of Tribe Vest, back in the studio for a second time. So glad to have you, Travis. Joey, Russ, great to be here. Thanks for having me. Been looking forward to this. Yeah, man. I mean, since you came to our Inner Circle Live event, just did such a fantastic job. We had to get you back on the podcast just to talk more about it. And you've even motivated me to set up my own tribe. So I'm in the process right now to, to taking an LLC that I had with uh, two other members in it where we were doing some side investing and realizing that I had taken all the responsibility of being the one that was having to deal with the bank accounts and deal with the different K-1s that were coming in. And I'm excited to know that there's an offering that I can go and help uh, clean this up a little bit, give more visibility to to my buddies, my other members, and also, to be honest, offload some of that off my uh, that weight off my shoulder. But since we've been talking, man, you're like, hey, um, we actually have a, a new a new service out there that we we're rolling out, and I'm excited to hear about that. So it's what's it called? Open Tribe, is that right? Open Tribes. It's the next evolution, next level of service on our Tribe Best platform. And uh, Russ is so excited to hear. Welcome to 
uh, try vesting, although you know you've been try vesting, but now you're going to do it on a platform. And the beauty of it is, and you, you touched on it, is, look, there's still a burden that comes with group investing. And somebody has to, you know, do be in charge of it. And how do you communicate? Uh, how do you keep records? All those things. So by you moving over uh, your existing group onto the platform, you're going to, you're going to, uh, enjoy and appreciate all the members can come on to one dashboard and uh, you can communicate there. They all have access to all the documents, complete transparency, and, uh, and you can spread, uh, you know, some of the responsibilities around uh, while, while eliminating a lot of them because they can just come and see whatever they need to see without having to push it out. So yeah, excited for you to be on the platform, Russ. Yeah, man, that's it's gonna be a lot of fun. Now, I I want to know though. You said this new service is called Open Tribes. What's the difference between that and the traditional framework? Right. So, as you know, we've built out the banking and collaborative infrastructure for the private investing world. And what's that mean? Well, we built a platform. We built the infrastructure uh, that makes coming together with partners so efficient. So you can, you can do business with partners. We've made doing business with partners so efficient that it feels like a transaction. It, it, it's so easy. And again, we've done that by building uh, the platform and we take care of some of what I call are the easy things or or, but they're easy, but they're heavy. I say they're easy because there's other platforms out there that you could you could go to that do these things for you. But you know, we help you form your LLC. Uh, we 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 act as a registered agent for you. Um, we we make sure that you're doing your report filing to stay compliant, so you don't get any you know letters from the Secretary of State or or the IRS. Uh, banking. Now that's not easy, but banking is on our platform, and and we do that. We we do that. We have that on the platform, and bookkeeping. So again, those are kind of the easy but heavy lifting that TribeVest does and our platform does. But what really sets us apart and what makes us unique is when you're dealing with partners. Right. It, it just it compounds things. Doing business on a platform as a single business and decision maker. Pretty easy. We can do all those things. But as soon as you bring partners into the fold, which is so valuable, we will talk about that. Like, yeah, you want to do more together. You can you can achieve so much more together. You can go so much further together. But when you have multiple people there, there's there's it's a little bit can be hard and messy. And that's where our platform is unique. We give you a place to align and gain commitment. So even before you start, hey, here's the business. And are we aligned? And should we go forward with this? Right. So gaining those commitments, those soft commitments from your partners, then onboarding those members, having them link their their bank account for distributions, uh, making it easy to put in capital contributions. Uh, configuring the cap table and ownership table. Again, things unique to having partners, right? Well, on our platform, you have a cap table because you're, you're sharing ownership and, and what's that look like and what's that look like in real time and can everybody access that and see it? Streamlining communications and uh, record keeping. So giving you one outlet to make sure all your members are getting all those same communications and then if there's an attachment that you're sending out, like say on that email, we actually put that in the document folder for you on the dashboard. Um, how do you operate as a group? Well, you got to have regular quarterly discussions and exchanges, and we give you a place to vote and record those transactions, those communications, uh, those business dealings. Uh, so... <clears throat> You know, that's that's what we've done. And again, I think, you know, uh, we've made it the technology has made it doing business with partners so easy. 
it almost doesn't feel right. <laughs> it, it almost doesn't feel right. I, I, so Mandy, my wife, made dinner last night with my two boys, Brant, who's 15, and, and um, Lincoln, who's 11. And uh, it was awesome. It was risotto, meatball, and, and, um, and, and marinara sauce on it. It was delicious. But it wasn't until halfway through the meal after we were like telling her how awesome this is. And we wanted this on the kind of the regular menu. And she said, well, you know, the meatballs are turkey and uh, <laughs> the risotto is actually cauliflower. And we're like, oh, this is good for us. There's, you know, it was better, or better for us than we had thought. Uh, but, you know, just the fact that it tasted so good, um, you know, didn't mean it wasn't good for us. And I think that's what people experience with Tribest. They're like, man, it's you guys have made it so easy to do business. I actually make want to make sure I'm, I'm staying compliant and making sure I'm not crossing over any, uh, you know, regulation thresholds. Um, so anyway, I'll just stop there for just a second. Yeah. That's what we've built. We've built a tool for people to come in and operate as a business partnership, come in and do all sorts of things, including invest together, pull capital and invest in things together. Well, and the, the two big ahas that I took away from when you were here physically in Birmingham speaking at our Inner Circle Live that I heard from people was, one, this takes the barrier down for not having enough capital, right? So there's people in our community that want to invest. They even have some direction, but they realize that there's some minimums or some, some thresholds that they can't meet on their own to be able to be involved in those things. And they're like, wait a minute, you could do this through TribeFest? That's awesome. I, I really want to get started. That was one big aha. And the second one was all of the things that are in your brain that you say, I would do this with partners, but how do I do this? How do I get the bank account set up? How do I do? Like you, you really have created the simplicity that someone can go through the process in a, a fraction of the amount of time and then not have the headache. It's, it's not just the setup, it's the ongoing, mm. as you say, that would keep people from taking action with a group that you have you know, taken out of the equation. So those are two exciting things that I, I felt like were feedback from our event. And that's why you know, we've enjoyed um, inviting you. Uh, you're actually gonna be at our virtual event, the Inner Circle Live event that's gonna be going on at the end of April. So um, yeah, just really grateful for that. If you've listened to our show for any length of time, you've heard us talk about infinite banking and how we were able to use that concept to create over $50,000 a month in passive income. But it's just not that easy to figure out how does this all connect into my own personal system? Stallion, that's why we created the Passive Income Operating System, bro. It shows you how to turn active income into passive income. It makes all the steps come together. If you would like to get access to it as a podcast listener, we've never given this away in public before. Go to whatswhatwallstreet.com forward slash P-I-O-S. Now, walk us through this open tribe, because now that we know that's a basic um, tribe vest platform. How does open tribe, what, what's the application for open tribe? Why would somebody get involved with that? Right. And just a quick uh, plug for your events. Um, you know, my first event was in Birmingham and uh, just what a, I was blown away. I was blown away and uh, just so thrilled to be part of the community and uh, if you guys haven't participated in those yet, you need to really take a look. Um, just so much value, so many good people, and uh, you know it'll it'll change it'll change your life. So, anyway, just uh, thrilled to be be a part of that and continue to be a part of your your uh, conferences and meetups. Uh, but you know, back to the question of you know what is the difference between you know what Tribes is as a platform and how it's used and open tribes. I'll take a quick step back. I, I, I always like to uh, compare us to a couple of our, what we think is our big brothers and big sisters out in the market. 
And uh, and because it, it helps explain what's happening, what's changed, and is it a big change? Um, and I love the reference Uber and Airbnb. Um, you guys, if you remember, it wasn't long ago, we used to think don't take rides from strangers and don't invite strangers into our house. And uh, something changed when Uber came out. And now we quite literally summon strangers to our, our house and we jump in the back seat and, and drive off with them, right? Well, what happened? Well, technology happened where they made it safe and easy to transact with, with, with strangers to the point of uh, getting a ride. And I like, I like these two technologies because they also helped people build income streams, right? They were, in, they were uh, technology platforms that help people build income streams and build wealth. And, and, you, and you think about the progression, right? So with Uber, it was, oh, cool. I can create income from, you know, driving strangers around. And then as things continue to advance, that technology continue to advance, it was, oh, we can use the same technology and I can buy uh, groceries. I can do grocery runs for strangers and I can add to my business that way. And then same thing with Airbnb. Uh, you know, it started, of course, Airbnb was the air mattress where I could rent out an air mattress in my living room. And then it was, oh, I can, I can rent out my whole apartment when I go away. And then, wait, I can rent out, I can invest in a single family rental and, and maybe even make more money than I could traditionally renting it, doing it short-term rental. And, and I can do this again and again, and I can scale it. And that didn't happen overnight. Um, you know, think about Airbnb that came out in 2008 and TriBest didn't come out until 2018. So, you know, all the advancements there and Open Tribes is one of our advancements in this. And what, what uh, Open Tribes uh, helps with is anybody that serves investors, uh, meaning uh, communities, communities, um, you know, are serving investors like yours and others out there. And it's a way for these communities to zero in on a deal right? Usually a deal syndication. So a, um, a, a, a sponsor has put together a syndication and is, and is offering um, the ability to passively invest into a deal as a limited partner, right? And so open tribes with communities, you can open up an open tribe to get into some of these deals, say it's $100,000 to get in. Well, with an open tribe, we can actually open up that open tribe, the operating agreement. You're still operating as a business and you still are operating as compliant, but you're doing it in a much streamlined way. In fact, you're starting this business and putting capital into this business based on that single deal and, and, you know, what, and, and knowing exactly how you're going to operate. So it just becomes very turnkey. And now instead of having to invest $100,000 directly into this deal, because that was the minimum, I can come in and invest at $10,000 because hey, 10 other people have come in and invested in, uh, want to invest in that same deal right. for $10,000. Uh, so Travis, we're in an open tribe. It's for single deals, right? So it's, it's basically like you said, we're creating a partnership business. We're not creating an investment fund. Very, very uh, crucial language there, but also we're we're bringing together maybe people um, who want to invest in in a single investment, but don't have the funds, as you said, to be able to do that. So, a couple of questions around that: one, how many people? Right, you know, that is there any limitation to how many people can I go yeah. get? You know, can I go to my high school class and get you know the forty five that still you know, that are in prison and then the other, you know, 250 that just got out, can I get them in the deal? Or <laughs> That's a joke. That's an internal joke, by the way. I, I went to a very rough public school growing up. Joey likes to make fun of me of that. But just as an example, if I had 300 people, is that, can I, can I do that? Or what's the limitation? Yeah. This, is, this is why you, you know, his, uh, 
his accent is so terrible and uh, his grammar is even worse. Go ahead. I love it. I love it. Now, great question. And look, you remember some of the magic or the magic of how a tribe, a business partnership becomes an awesome vehicle to invest together is in fact, you are operating as a, as a business partnership and it's governed by an operating agreement or a partnership agreement. And that's, you know, that's important. So how do you operate like that? And the number of members is a really important question because you, it's really hard to make the case that you're operating as a business partnership when you have 200 or 2000 partners, active partners in it. And so, you know, a really nice number for uh, an open tribe or any tribe for that matter is, you know, anywhere from five to 15 partners that are participating in it. But definitely more than two. Uh, more, than, <laughs> no, more, than two. <laughs> more than two. I mean, we do have lots of tribes out there that are just using the platform that are just two members and it's great. Uh, our average tribe is around five members, which is a great size. And then our open tribes, because of the business of coming together, pulling capital to invest in a, in a threshold, you know, that it's usually anywhere from eight to 15. Right. And again, not getting more than that because, you know, you, you need to be able to show that you're an active member, right? We're coming in on a quarterly basis and saying, Hey, do we still want to do quarterly distributions to all of our members? Yes. Right. 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 I want to, I want to pose a scenario to you, right? So Joey and I have, have been looking at lending money to our, our land flipping buddies because that one of the biggest things we get asked every time we go and speak at one of their boot camps is how can we be better at doing more deals and it's when we have access to more money and they're like, you guys um, potentially have money because you guys are been putting money in these, you know, infinite banking systems forever. Could you guys be the, the lenders to us? And so we've been talking about that and, and we're trying to figure out, okay, well, if we wanted to do that, but you know, there, there's other people in our circle, right. That we would, we would want to not only be able to have them join in from a, a capital contribution, but also they they add a lot more maybe operational experience. They're going to follow through. They're going to be the better investor relations. <laughs> you know, they, they're going to they're going to be able to you know understand you know how do we deal with these different people. So if we were to go out and, and try to do something like that, could you walk me through exactly what I potentially would do? setting up an open tribe. So that way the person listening to this can use me as the example. Yeah, this is, this is a great question. And I'll just look, you remember our, our platform uh, is a platform and a tool and utility. And our open tribe is this wrapping kind of some of these additional services at, at level up, but you're still using the core technology. And in this case, I'm just going to kind of talk about this from a, a general tribe opportunity, right? And this is perfect. You have uh, flippers out there that are looking for lending. Um, and as an individual, you could say, hey, I've got $100,000 and to the flipper and say, hey, let's, let's write up a, a loan agreement and I'll loan you that hundred thousand dollars, and it's pretty simple, right? It's simple, and and there's terms in there and everything else, um, and that's just an individual. Or you can come together as a tribe, and maybe you don't want to put in a hundred thousand dollars. Maybe you just want to put in twenty thousand dollars each, but you you do it with five other people, right? And you do that same deal um, as a tribe, uh, or you know, hey, let's all put in $100,000 and we have a million dollar business where we'll lend it out to multiple, uh, you know, multiple flippers out there. And it diversifies us a little bit, right? And so by the power of the tribe, not, you know, you've raised more capital, you've, you've made it a, a, even a better business, de-risked it. Uh, by you know bringing in more people with different expertise, 
and you're able to spread your capital deployment with different loans too. So um, that's a great example of, you know, why you would want to come together as a tribe. And this tribe has a specific purpose of, hey, this group of people is coming together and it's a lending tribe. <laughs> is that, did, did I just, yeah, flip, did, in that scenario, am I in a, the traditional tribe or is that an open tribe? Yeah, that, so that would be a traditional tribe. Okay. And, and right. It's just a little bit of a difference. Um, you know, there, the, that could someday be an open tribe, but right now we've narrowed down what open tribes are. Uh, but that's a great application for a, um, a uh, you know, a regular tribe. Now, so what's the difference between open tribe? An open tribe right now, as we, as we, as we speak, is for a passive investment into a syndication, into a private placement. Okay. Right? So somebody that has gone out there and formed a security... Okay. That's not the tribe. That's just the deal. That's just gotcha. the deal. And the open tribe is this opportunity for, you know, a, an, an aspiring, uh, fun, uh, capital raiser, somebody that is looking to take their, you know, take their business and wealth building to the next level. Right. And so maybe they found, that deal. They found that deal. They built a relationship with the sponsor. They might even went out and met the management team and, and they might have visited the location or whatever that, that deal is and is represented. And they've gone and they've said, listen, I can invest $100,000 on my own kind of normal terms, or I can come together with my friends and my community and we might be able to invest $2 million. And when we do, can we get special terms? There was nothing worse than walking into class when you're in school and the teacher saying, pop quiz day. Why? Because you were unprepared. Are you unprepared, though, for financial freedom? Don't be. Find out how close you are by taking our 30-second quiz at wealthwithoutwallstreet.com forward slash quiz. So let, let me pose the same question back to you and just with a little bit of a twist. You're helping me learn as we go. And I, I learn while I'm talking. This is going to be a long episode. He's a slow learner. I'm just, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Yeah, well, this is important. This is important. T totally. Um, so the, let, let's just use that same example. I was saying where, you know, we've got land flippers They're They're needing capital. I, I join up with a group of people. We, we put together, you know, hundred thousand million dollars, doesn't matter what it is. And now we start lending to those people, you know, one off. And we do this for a while and we build up a group of a hundred different people who are now, we, we have the opportunity. So we go, Hey, what we should do is we should package this thing together, create a security, go, and do all the reg, you know regulatory items we need to do to put this investment together as a security. And now I go and I pitch it to Joey over here, right? And so, or or I don't even pitch it to him. Joey just knows, I, that's probably the wrong word. I'm not going to pitch yeah. it to Joey. Joey learns about my deal and he's like, I want in. I want in on that deal. And he's like, let me go see if I can go find nine other people that will put up the money and then I will create an open tribe that will invest into this one individual security, which I've created through all of my genius, you know, connecting and networking over here. How this is that is working? Great. Is uh, that this, it? This is great. So you started with a, a tribe, a business partnership, right? Very clearly, active partners putting capital into a business partnership and the charter of that tribe, that business was, Hey, we're going to lend out money and, and great create contracts with different flippers out there. This is, this is our business and, and we're doing this as a tribe, right? And now you've had so much success, you're going to get, take it to the next level, right? And you're going to work with really smart people and attorneys to go ahead and take your tribe and now make it into a security, right? And you're doing that 
not with TribeVest help, but you've gone out with your network, right? You're, I mean, within Wealth, Wealth Without Wall Street, right? You have really smart people, our, my friend Jonathan and Joshua. And, and I was looking at your lineup uh, for your event coming up here in, in, the, in June. You know, you, you are, you, because of your community and you have access to that network, you could go do that. Right. But that was a, just a nice kind of, oh, you went from a business partnership to now you advance this to a, a syndication or a security. And then now bringing it back. Um, hey, uh, that security, maybe you only allow people coming in at uh, $200,000 to be able to be part of that, that mm. security. And now a try now Joey says, well, I don't want to come in for 200, but I've got a crew that does want to come in and I can form an open tribe. So that would be a great yes. example. And, the, and so, and how do we make that easier than your first tribe? Right? Well, Joey doesn't have to go uh, create the charter. He doesn't have to go find all these people. He can with an open tribe um, because the tribe is based on getting in on this deal, on this uh, security. It's just so easy. And now members just have to join, right? There's less of this. What's the business? How are we going to do it? It's still all detailed in the uh, governing documents, which everybody reviews and signs and agrees before they put their capital in, but it's just all been streamlined. And, and then it's $150 per member, right? To start it off. And that includes the LLC, uh, the registered agent, um, you know, all those things, uh, onboarding of each member, right? Um, you can now, uh, and now when you get quarterly distributions coming from that security, TriVest brings another layer of, of service. We'll actually do those distributions to each of your members from that tribe. When it comes time to getting a K-1, so you'll, because it's one entity, you'll get one K-1 from that security. But you have, say, Joey, you have 10 members in your, right. your tribe. Well, TribeVest provides that service easily distributing the 10 K-1s now to each one of those members, for example. Interesting. So, so let me, I, I'm starting to get the picture here. And Tribe, I, I don't know if you heard this, but this is... All of you who are already in our Inner Circle Plus and our Passive Income Mastermind, you are at the very least being exposed to opportunities that all of your other friends and family and, and coworkers or whatever it may be do not know about. In fact, we talk about this, like the value of being in one of our masterminds is that you're around people who are like-minded, who are on the same journey, but it's a, it's a privilege that you don't get everywhere because your regular circles don't know about these things. And this is now how you're going to take advantage of that. Because when you invest in one of these deals that you're getting exposed to through our masterminds and it's a success, you've, you've seen that, man, I invested in this multifamily deal and I really got to know this operator well. And, and, and now I'm, I'm seeing um, a lot of opportunity here. This is where I see open tribes fitting for you because now you become that first time fundraiser. I'm going to go out to the world and I'm going to say, hey, I've personally built this relationship with this operator. They've got an, another opportunity and I'm raising money for it. And I can almost turnkey create a, an initial fund to start investing in this. So maybe you're not to the point where you're like a, a professional fundraiser, like you've out there doing this full time, but this is your entree into it. Is that, am I understanding can, that? Can, right? can I, can I, uh, just so I learn better. I love critiquing my business partner. So tell me it, thumbs up special, or thumbs down on this. Thing. Here's, here's what I heard you say that I think is incorrect. I'm not trying to be a fundraiser. What I'm going to do though, is I'm going to go out and I'm going to find friends and family members who don't have the access because the masterminds is all about access. Access is power. And that access creates opportunity, which creates value. That's the reason 
people are in our masterminds. They want access, access at the highest level, access to Travis Smith whenever he's at one of our events, right? There is the opportunity for the for the access. But here it is. I I come to you and I say, hey, Joey, I, I've, 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 I've been sitting around, you know, Sharon and Mark, and I, I've got to know them so well, and they have an, op, an investment opportunity that I've been able to look at, and I think this is a great place for us to get our money in. And I want to share this opportunity with you and five or six other of our close friends, and we're going to create a little LLC, a little investment LLC, and here's what we're going to do. We're all going to have to have parts in this play, right? Each one of us is going to have to participate because I can't be the sole guy on this. Otherwise, I'm creating an investment fund. I'm creating a partnership. And so with this, I'm going to I'm going to require you to do something. Good night. Well, it's going to take us a while to figure out what that something is that you're qualified to do. But I'll figure out something <laughs> for you to do. You can be the secretary on the on the on the job. You can be the assistant to the regional manager. <laughs> we'll figure out something for you to do, but there's going to be a part for you to play. And um, here's what, here's what this is going to go down. You're going to put up a hundred grand. Um, our other four friends are going to put up a hundred grand and I'm going to get paid a percentage of pulling all this thing together. Right. And I may put some money in the deal, but that's going to be a part of my responsibility as the manager, as well as the person who went out and found it. Now, Travis, who is right? Joey or me? <laughs> Well, Joey's story was beautiful. He used some uh, uh, loaded words, right, that we just want to be sensitive of, right? And I think, like, that's – look, that's why this is so hard, right, is the mystery and the fear, right? Like, that's what holds us all back. Um, and so Joey's story was perfect. I would have – use the more sensitive words that Russ said. He's right? a sensitive like, guy. I get it. I, I mean, I get you it. Know, well, you know, like you use the word fund and you were using it in the right context here. But if someone else heard, they, they hear this word fund, right? And all of a sudden it's, well, I have to register that with the SEC potentially, right? So those were the, the, some of the nuances. But both of you guys said it very well. Um, and that would be the only nuance there, uh, because it is, you're forming a business partnership with active members, but you're achieving all these things because of how you're operating with such efficiency on the TriBest platform. Now, did I understand in a, in a, another conversation where before I go and set up this open tribe, do I go out and I go and tell Joey and my other, you know, five buddies about this idea and kind of get like some soft commitments from them ahead of time? Is that how it works? Remind me again of that process. Yeah, I'm I'm glad you like four open tribes to work, right? And we started off, Joey, with, hey, I can't wait to get on your platform because there's just some ongoing headaches that I tribe best is gonna really help me with in terms of running your, 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 uh, your tribe. Right. And so tribe, uh, the open tribes is all about taking even less burden off of, uh, the champion and the, and the members. Right. So one of the ways we do that is you come to tribe best with the deal you want to do, which is basically, you know, helps detail the operating agreement of what we're doing as a, as a partnership. And then two, you have ready investors, right? It's not you open up the platform and now you're out there kind of bringing on investors for open. You can do that, but for open tribes to work, you need your committed investors ready to go because we put you in a very disciplined, you know, we're going to get you up and running in days, weeks. And the only way we do that is if you have all these things ready to go. So you have the deal and in the terms and uh, and you have your committed investors and we help you with that right so we help you create a, a soft commit form that details you know what the deal is and why the tribe's being formed and you can circulate that with your community your friends and they can say hey i'm in and i'm in for this much 
And but that happens before the entity is fully structured and all that. Is that right? Because otherwise right. you don't know how to put who the members are if they're not committed. That's right. Because we're going to put each of these active members on the operating agreement. Right? Got it. And we're going to and we're going to assign them roles. Right. The assistant would you, to the uh, assistant. This is would, would you? I, I want to wrap up. I know we're we're out of time. We keep go going deep. But for those who who are again looks listening with the more. Uh, keen ear to the potential gray area that exists with securities. I think the whole part to this is one, you're creating an LLC and then two, you're creating, as you said, active members list off a couple of examples of what an active member would look like in an open trial for me. Absolutely. One, you're on the operating agreement, uh, you know, you have uh, a, a capital contribution that is part of your your ownership into the business. And then to be active, um, you know, you have to be able to participate uh, in a, say, a quarterly meeting where maybe we vote on, hey, do we want to do quarterly distributions? Right. That's an active member. Okay. Um, members could come together and vote to change the operating agreement, right? Having that participation. And, um, and again, what's changed, right? What's changed is with the technology, you can do that so efficiently now. Mm. You can come together and do business as, as an active member, uh, board of directors, you know, however you want to look at it in such an efficient way because you've already determined what the operating procedures are. So we're just, are, are we particip are we operating in which the way the, the operating agreement says, yes. Do we want to continue to do distributions? Yes. And, um, and then, you know, back to business. This is so great, Travis. It is always a pleasure to have you join us. You know, you've been such a great addition to our tribe. In fact, I don't know if this is true or not, Russ, but I think we started referring to everybody as our tribe after we initially interviewed you because we we're like, wait a minute. That's what this is. This is our tribe, man. We're a movement of people trying to get free from Wall Street and get to financial freedom. So thank you, as always, for being here. Um, looking forward to having you at our virtual live event, April 27th through the 29th. If you do not know about that, go to wealthwithoutwallstreet.com forward slash live so that you can hear Travis again. Love to have him. And if you got value from today, uh, but first of all, actually, Travis, can you point people to where they can get signed up with you um, as a result of hearing today what they want to get set up for their own traps? So we have a, a landing page uh, that gets you access for your, your traditional tribe and, and uh, brings all sorts of additional benefits and uh, kind of a red carpet service at tribevest.com forward slash partners forward slash WWWS, uh, which is, of course, the Wealth Without Wall Street acronym. So tribevest.com forward slash partners forward slash WWWS. And you can also go to tribevest.com forward slash open tribes to learn a little bit more and get on a list for us to follow up with you and tell you a little bit more about it. Excellent. Excellent. Well, as always, Tribe, thank you for being uh, tuned in today. If you got value, go and talk to your tribe about this awesome opportunity so that you can become financially free. Share this, like it, rate us, review us, get us out there so that the rest of the world can hear about this. We can beat the big tech algorithm. Um, we'll catch you on the next episode. This has been the Wealth Without Wall Street podcast. Don't forget to subscribe to the show to break free of the Wall Street mindset and begin building wealth on your own terms in places you understand so that your wealth will never run dry. See you next episode.